This is a writing that I just started distributing in Idaho Springs, Colorado a few days ago. I went out and got a hundred of these printed up. This is a two page. This is the third writing that I've distributed in Idaho Springs. The other two I got 200 of each of those and pretty much got all of those writings out except for maybe like five or ten of each of those and I only have oh maybe ten of these left I probably distributed 90 of these over the last few days so they're getting used to me I've been hitting mostly the commercial areas talking to the merchants and people that do business downtown Idaho Springs is a small town it has probably around 16 or maybe 1700 people it's kinda of like Mayberry or I've related it to that you see the friendly people on the Andy Griffith show people come up talk to you and they don't seem like crackheads to me the ones that come up and talk a lot of times they just uh, I'll be I'll be in the yard or I'll be you know somewhere and uh, I have not seen this much in bigger cities it's quite nice and I'm building a relationship with a lot of people here so I'm gonna go ahead and read this paper along the top of this says has anyone seen double agent Truman's Hellraiser cubes anywhere it's a matter of national security fraud and underneath Truman's picture there says Muslim extremist Harry Schreiner Truman underneath the next picture it says Truman's NSA scam and Kaba cube underneath the next picture it says star of Remfan and Saturn cube and underneath the last picture it says cube head Menachem Mendel Schneerson and I'm gonna read the first page of this and then I'll do a part two and read the second page and they said that Truman was a Southern Baptist but how is he a Southern Baptist if he swore an oath to the Mohammedan faith to be a Shriner? Because that's what charity front Shriners do. They call their cult a charity so they can exploit children for money. And they swear an oath to the God of Mohammed, the dead child molester. Well, I never had sex with a nine-year-old like Islam's prophet of Satan did with Asia. Yep, a nine-year-old, you take fishing or grow food together with them in a garden and things like that. You don't do what Mohammed did in his hedonistic child molesting depravity unless you want to die the second death. What a disgusting pig Mohammed really was. And the child molester sympathizers of Islam know what he did. So what does that say about Muslims who don't care that Mohammed molested a nine-year-old? And then there's Netanyahu in synagogue on the phylactery cube side of cubes who pushed Talmud which suggests that defiling a three-year-old Gentile girl is somehow okay to do. But I believe that it's okay for me to kill a pervert if I catch one molesting a child. It was written in Matthew that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. And Christ goes on to say, But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And Moses says, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. In Leviticus chapter 20. 
So where is the law of certain people who say they agree with Moses but support child molesting and child murdering religion through IRS charity front special status scams? Did you ever hear a clown like Joel Osteen speaking against Satan's IRS department while he's pleasuring himself through his IRS hooker? Oh no, that would be a conflict of money interest for his whore's prostitution. I do not agree that U.S. taxpayers should support child molesting Satanists just because an arrogant bastard to God named Netanyahu expects them to for his whore's wages and sin. Did you know that a perverted Noahide law for Cubehead Schneerson makes confessing Christ as Lord punishable by decapitation through an antichrist's bogus charge of idolatry? Do the research. I'm not talking about the headhunters of Islam here. I'm talking about the headhunters of Truman's version of Israel, which is the synagogue of Satan. But I don't speak against anyone because of their ancestry. I speak against Netanyahu and synagogue because they're into murdering Jacob Israel's generational seed in Palestinian labeled men, women, and children. All right? Netanyahu is a Satanist of Satan's synagogue. And what did Christ tell us about so-called rabbis who go to synagogue? He said, Be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. So the word synagogue should be a major clue as to what Satan tries to justify, since that's where so-called rabbis go to serve him. It's not rocket science. And I know I'm asking a lot of questions here, but why do you think that certain media trashes the Muslim headhunters like they do, while kissing synagogue of Satan headhunter ass? I see that the synagogue of Satan has been using their media whores, Islam headhunter, terror tactics to distract from their own corruption and to sell more bullcrap security to the people they exploit for money. And by the way, Truman's NSA scam of 1952 is into selling more and more of that these days for Satan, if they can. I mean, the synagogue of Satan that Truman called Israel in 1948 that's been on U.S. welfare, pulls the puppet strings on their foreign NSA stooges here in the U.S. And what better way for the headhunters of so-called Noahide Law and so-called Public Law 102.14 to take the focus off their plan to kill Christians than to put their share of the blame on Muslims through Synagogue of Satan media? Yeah, Netanyahu sure don't want to show himself as a terrorist through certain partial media. But the fact is that his Judaism and some other people's Islam are both anti-Christ religions. What these Saturn cube cults are trying to do is get to that point where they can just wipe Christians out. And what does the established by man counterfeit church leaders tell their customers about these things while exploiting them for money? They just dummy up and pass their money changer tithe collection plates around for a handout. But I say give directly to the poor and cut out the middleman. And so these middlemen frauds have been selling people to the synagogue of Satan for money. And Truman played Southern Baptist. Can you see a salesman like Truman selling all that national security without a national security threat? That would be like a mob boss president trying to sell protection without creating a protection problem in the first place. Know what I mean? So the creep who told Americans that Israel was justified as a nation in 1948 was a fez-wearing Muslim by oath. And he founded the National Security Agency? Maybe that's why some NSA stooges view me as a terrorist threat 
to Truman's religions, plural. I'm not a double agent religious pervert like he was. And I'll finish the rest of this in part two.